Hi friends, I'm Sianu Jalota. We are covering all the MCQs from the chapter of capital structure. This is that chapter that tells you what should be the portion of debt, what should be the portion of equity in your capital structure. As a rule, we all say that capital structure is the best wherever your overall cost of capital is the least. Do remember that your capital structure influences risk returns and so many other things. Well, I've already given the answer to, today, to today's question. Let me start it off. Now, just before I start, every possible question of costing MCQs is already there on our YouTube channel. Ensure that you all do it. That is one thing. Second, we are coming up on every Saturday, Sunday, complete lectures of costing and FM. Okay, currently we are doing costing in English Hindi mode. Once that is done, we'll cover up the costing in complete English mode and then we'll start away with FM. Our basic intention is everybody in India should be having best of the content, okay, which will be useful for them, not only for clearing their exams, but also for future. I joined AJ directly in uh, CA Finance. Uh, it was uh, because of Alan, sir. Uh, he introduced me to Alan, sir. Uh, he introduced me to Alan, sir. It was a great journey, seriously. Like I started up quite early. Started with Alan sir. Maza hai was It was like it was effortless. Thank you so much, Alan sir. Thank you, and uh, it's been a great journey. Let's start it off with today's question. Capital structure of a firm influences the. You have risk, okay. You have returns, okay. You have both risk and return. You have return but not risk, okay. Now see. Now, this is how we all start with introduction of FM. But in case you all know the answer, in fact, you would be knowing the answer from the discussion that I just did before starting the question. Please answer. So, now <clears throat> it's something like this. If I talk of risk and returns, if there is a company that is about to be issuing debentures or about to be issuing debt, do remember the risk is high. Why the risk is high? Risk is high because whether or not company will have profit, it will still have to pay cost of debt. Cost of debt means interest. There is a fixed commitment. Whenever there is a fixed commitment to pay, risk increases. But then also do remember that higher risk always leads to higher returns. Why higher returns? Because Cost of debt is cheaper. KD is always cheaper than KE. Why? Debt holders have not taken any risk. So therefore, they will be paid lower rate of interest as compared to whatever equity shareholders will be getting. Now let's go over to equity. If a company issues equity shares, do remember, its risk is going to be quite less. Okay, why? Because there is no fixed commitment to pay. Even if a company has profit, it might not pay the dividends as such. But then lower risk will always lead to lower returns. Why? Simple reason because cost of equity is highest. Why cost of equity is highest? Because equity shareholders have taken highest risk. If they have taken highest risk, they are supposed to be getting highest return. So therefore, from EBIT, if you remove your cost of equity, whatever will be left with the company that will always be least as such. Therefore, least risk leads to least returns. Let's go back to the question. A capital structure of a firm influence the, influences the, I guess, both risk and returns. That should be the correct answer. Yeah, that is the correct answer. Your FM is a gateway to your finance career. If you love finance, then this is your subject. You will love this. Not only in CA Inter, but also in CA Final, whereby you try to enter more practical aspects. But just one thing about your CA Inter, in CA Inter also, if you are very good in chapters like chapter number 3, accounting ratios, then your capital budgeting, that is uh, investment part, okay, that is chapter number 7. Believe me, in future, that is going to be of great use in your financing career. Let's catch up next time with another question. Till then, take care. Bye.